Hi, this is Mathematics with Tom. I am Tom, and today we're going to take a look at solving second order linear differential equations with constant coefficients. And this time we're going to add this an exponential input, e to the st, and how it affects the response it creates a y particular or our particular solution. So we're going to just start with a general solution, and then we'll, in our next video, we'll probably look at. Uh, we'll take a look at some examples. So here we go. So we're going to solve this. We're going to solve a y double prime plus by prime plus cy equals e to the st. Okay. We've, in our previous videos, we've already seen the null solution. So remember, our, uh, the general solution is this. It's that y, uh, sometimes it's y, or we could write yc for y complete, is going to be y null plus, plus y particular. So today, we're going to just find the particular part of our solution. So here we go. We're going to do this. We're going to try try our y particular as e, oh, I'm sorry, some multiplier. Now, if my penmanship was consistent, this would always be a capital Y. But just in case um, I my hand, hand penmanship isn't so perfect, I'm going to just put a tilde over it. So just to say that's always the capital Y, E to the ST. So we think our solution is going to look like E to the ST, and there will be some kind of a multiplier. And the, what our first goal is, is to figure out what this multiplier really is. So what we need then is we need, we need a, our Y particular prime. So I'm taking the derivative of what we're going to try, so that's going to be the y tilde s e to the s t, and then we're going to take the derivative of y particular, so our, our second derivative for y particular is going to be capital Y tilde s squared e to the s t. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute y particular double prime, y particular prime, y particular back into our original equation and solve. So here we go. So I'm going to come over here. So now I have a times, now this is a times the second derivative that's here. So I write this as um, capital Y tilde of s squared e to the st plus b. Now I'm substituting in my, oh, I think I misspoke the first, this was my first one. My, my first derivative is here, was, that's b, that's y tilde s e to the s t plus c times our, our original y particular, so that's c y tilde e to the s t equals e to the s t. Uh, let's factor. We're going to factor two parts here. Let's factor out the y tilde and the e to the s t. Because those are, see, they're common in both of them. So let's take that out. So I can write this as a s squared plus b times s plus c times, this is y tilde e to the st equals e to the st. Now, you can think of the next step in two ways. One is you could think of that e to the st is non-zero, so you could divide if you wanted. Or you could just think of really what you're doing is just trying to match your coefficients, meaning that 
if the left hand side is to equal the right hand side, then this whole piece here clearly has to equal the one on the right hand side. So if you want to divide by e to the st, you can. Or if you want to just think of it as matching coefficients, you can think of it that way as well. So, but a uh, couple other things to notice before we go on. Notice this. We have right here our characteristic. Our characteristic polynomial. It appeared again. It's this first entire factor. So I, notice we just want to be aware of that because we're going to be returning to that shortly. So let's solve what we have. I have now I have um, as squared plus b times s plus c times capital Y tilde is equal to 1. And so now we can solve our problem as y tilde equals 1 over a s squared plus b times s plus c. And there we have our y particular. In general, we found the formula is very simply 1 over or let's write it this way. I'll write it this way. 1 over as squared plus b times s plus c times e to the st. Y tilde, this piece right here, we call this the transfer, transfer function. And it's a function in the variable of s. And we'll take a look at that in a moment. So let's pause. Let's stop there. All right, let's try this. So let, this is a book, an example from our book. It says solve y double prime plus 5y prime plus 6y equals e to the 4t. Okay, if we look back at our work that we did originally, uh, this is, we have this problem. We have our characteristic equation. Let's come back over here. Here's our original problem. It's ay double prime plus by prime plus cy equals e to the st. And notice that what we found was that the y primes the y primes, they become replaced with s. And then that, those s's become our transfer function. So these y primes are going to be replaced with the s, which is 4. And so we can calculate our y tilde, our transfer function, is very simply 1 over, our coefficient is 1 times the s squared plus our next coefficient is b times the s which is 4 plus 6 and there's no s on the third third coefficient so if we calculate this this is going to be 1 over oh that's a lot uh, 16 plus 20 that's 36, 6 more. So we have 1 over 42. So we can write our y particular is 1 over 42e to the 4t. Okay. I think we'll stop there in our next example. Or our next video, we'll take a look at what happens when s is a complex number. Thanks for watching.